Hello guys, once more to the GCE Math panel after the short break. In this question, we are looking at June 2018, paper two, pure math mechanic, pure math statistics, uh, question two of uh, question five, paper two. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to share our videos to friends. You might just save a life somewhere by just sharing one of our content. We employ an indulgence to share our videos on WhatsApp study groups in which you find yourself, as well as on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and all the other ones in which you are. Guys, please share these videos because this is what you're going to use to encourage us to produce more material, more content. Note that we don't produce uh, videos only in mathematics. We call it produce not just corrections, but notes and many other lessons. So subscribing to our channel and sharing these videos will benefit you so much and a lot more out there. And please note, most of our videos are not on YouTube. So you just have to go to our website of www.gcmathpanel.com where you have most of these corrections and solutions. For example, for this video, to get the complete correction, just click on that link. There's a link around this video on, on screen somewhere. You're going to see a link. You click on that link to take the website where the complete correction is. And equally, if you click on the link in the description of this video below, there's a button that points down. It's going to take you to the website where you have the complete correction. Guys, please don't forget to click on those and to subscribe to this channel. That's going to encourage us. And we, of course, we will make more videos and contents for us. It may not benefit you directly, but will benefit brothers, friends, and so on. So the complex number Z is given by Z equals three minus I, all that on two plus I. Express Z in the form A plus BI, where A, B, A and B are elements of the set of real numbers. Sub two, given that Z equals cos theta plus I sine theta, show that z cubed plus z to the power minus three equals two cos theta. Hence, find the general solution of the equation z cubed plus z to the power minus three equals root three. So let's tackle this question. The first part is to express this complex number in the form a plus bi. So what we just need is the conjugate of the denominator, that's the complex conjugate. So this will be by, done by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator is two minus i, right? So you multiply by two minus i, and we see what you're going to have. So when we multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this denominator, uh, we will end up with uh, six minus three i minus two i minus one, all that on four plus one, which will give us five minus five i on five. Now I is com five is common, so we can factor it out from the numerator and denominator, and that will give us one minus I. So we have expressed Z in the form A plus BI. From here, our A is one and our B is minus one. Sub two, given that Z equals cos theta plus I sine theta, show that Z cubed plus Z to the power minus three equals two cos uh, three theta. So we have cos two cos three theta. So from the math theorem, we know that Z is equal to cos theta plus I sine theta. And from here, equally from that theorem, we know that Z to the power N is equal to cos N theta plus I sine N theta, right? And equally, Z to the minus N is cos N theta minus I sine N theta. So bringing these two together will give us Z to the power three plus Z to the power minus three to be equal to cos three theta plus i sine three theta, that's z to the power three. And for z to the power minus three, we have cos three theta minus i sine three theta. The sum will give us two cos three theta as required. So the proof is as simple as it is. It's as simple as it is simple. Hence, find the general solution of the equation z to the power three plus z to the power minus three equals root three. Whenever they use this word hence, it means you must use your answer or your solution in the previous question or sub question to continue solving it means you are not allowed to use another method. However, if they say hence or otherwise, it means you are free to continue or you may use another method. So hence here means z to the power three plus z to the power minus three equals root three. I'm just going to replace this z to the power three plus z to the power minus three by two cos three theta. Even if I could not do the first part, I can still use the solution to this first part to find the general solution. So in an exam, even if you cannot prove this, use what has been given there to continue solving the hence find the general solution to this. You have your marks, okay? So this one, this is something that students need to know about so much. 
So this implies that two cos three theta equals root three. From here, cos three theta is equal to root three on two. Three theta will be equal to, now the primary value of uh, root three on two is, uh, that's pi on six, right? Yes, because that's 30 degrees. So cosine uh, cos theta is root three on two. And uh, the general solution for cos A equals cos B is, uh, A is equal to two n pi plus or minus B. So this gives us theta to be equal to two n pi plus. So we are going to divide all through by three because we're looking for theta and not three theta. So two n pi on three plus or minus pi on uh, six. So we are going to divide this side again by what? By three, right? And what does that give us? That give us 18. So this actually gives us pi on 18. And guys, this is the end of question five. We now look at the next, see you in the next question. We are equally employing your indulgence. Please subscribe to this channel. If you're watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, you are not really doing us any good because you are not telling us if our contents are okay and we should produce more, which will obviously not be producing more, which will be to your disadvantage. So please subscribe, leave your comments and share our videos. From all of those actions, we actually know if we are actually serving you and from your comments, we know what we need to do more to serve you better. So guys, please leave your comments, share our videos on social media platforms because we are doing these videos for you for free to promote your studies and your education. What you have to do in return is to actually tell us if what we are doing is okay or not, because if it's not, not okay, then there is no need to continue doing it. So we thank you so much. Visit our website for this complete video. There's a link on this video. You can click anywhere on the screen. You will see the link and you follow it to the website or you move to the description of this video. There's a button below. You will see a link where you can actually join. Don't forget to subscribe, share our videos and may God bless you as prepare your exams. Bye-bye. See you in question six.